Welcome back to Forge for Speed. In today's video, I will talk about what a check engine light means and what you should do about it. A check engine light is used by the engine control unit also known as the ECU to indicate that a malfunction has occurred. A malfunction can be a serious engine issue or as simple as a blown light bulb. So what should you do about it? Don't ignore it. First step is to figure out what is the problem. To do that, you will need an onboard diagnostic scanner. This device acts as the vehicle communication interface. Plug this into the vehicle's OBD2 port which is located below the dashboard that you can see here. A light will turn on once the scanner is powered up. Next, put in the key and turn the car to the on position. Next, with a phone, connect to the OBD2 scanner via Bluetooth to perform a system health scan. It is required to select the vehicle brand and model to establish communication with the ECU. Now, a diagnostic scan is performed to identify the trouble codes that triggered the check engine light. Here, two faults have been identified. One is a crank sensor fault and the second is a lambda sensor fault. The nice thing with this app is you can google it right away. Boom! You immediately know what replacement part you need, the cost of it, how it looks, and the description of the problem. We will do the search for the second fault code. Here, now I know that the lambda sensor is actually the oxygen sensor which I am familiar with. This step is done only once the repair is completed to clear the trouble code and remove the check engine light. Next, to ensure that the sensor is installed correctly and working, you can perform a data logging exercise to look for anomalies. I am selecting to log the engine speed and the O2 sensor readings. Through the graph trends, it is clear that the sensor is working correctly. Job done! Here is another cool feature that this OBD2 scanner is capable to execute which is actuation tests. You can instruct the ECU to perform a specific task. Here, I'm asking the ECU to turn on the fan. Controlling your car through a phone. Cool, right? <laughs> 